Hey friends, all right, so uh, yesterday or this morning, um, yeah, I guess it was early this morning, but Dan is in London, so it wasn't early, but anyway, he tweeted this and it was like revolutionary, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so actually Jest um, has super mocking capabilities and it's really easy to mock things um, with Jest. And so this inspired me because lots of people um, will ask me like, um, is React Testing Library only useful for integration, like component integration tests? And I say, no, it's, um, you can just mock. The, the reason they asked me is because Jest intentionally does not support shallow rendering and people are used to using shallow rendering um, with Enzyme or uh, the React Test Renderer. And I am very strongly against um, shallow rendering. I prefer to explicitly mock things like this. So I just thought I'd show you how to do that with React Testing Library. Um, so we have this repo called React Testing Library Examples. Um, and that repo is actually kind of cool because it, it runs in Code Sandbox. So we can't do just mock in Code Sandbox. And so we have these local tests and I have it just all configured so it'll run both of them locally. And then Code Sandbox will only run the ones in tests. Uh, because yeah, Code Sandbox can't do um, just dot mock like this. It doesn't support that, um, but it can do lots of things, and so that's why we we have this here so we can run things in Code Sandbox. Anyway, um, so maybe I'll put a link to to that in the um, description later. But um, yeah, I thought I would just show how to do the um, actually this exact example React Router. Um, with React Testing Library. So here we do have um, an integration type test, a component integration test with React Router. Uh, we have an app, we have a couple links and a route, um, and this location display is using with router. Um, and so like, let's say we wanted to um, test like the whole app, or if even if we wanted to just test the location display, we'd have to have a router in context so that with router will work. Um, and uh, yeah, so what we do here, I should probably just get rid of this thing. I'm not gonna run these right now. Um, but we, what we can do in here is render uh, the full app. And so I have this render with router and I strongly recommend that um, people have something like this in your app so you can do full page testing. It doesn't have to get deep into the edge cases and details, but doing full page testing, um, even simple things like this is um, maybe a, a tiny bit slow, but hardly noticeable and way, way valuable. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> we've got, and actually you don't have to render the whole page either. This render with router will work even if you just want to render a single thing that just needs the router to operate. Um, so anyway, uh, we pass the UI just like you would in a regular uh, render call. And then we pass an initial route. We default that to just the home and then a history, and we use create memory history. So normally you use create browser history um, if you're like in the actual app so that it'll update the URL and stuff, but his, the history package also has its create memory history. And so we can use that. We can give it some initial entries. Uh, that's an array of all the routes and the initial entry is the initial route. Uh, so then we call render from React Testing Library and we render the router. Um, with our spe specific history. So this is this is the router from React Router. It's going to set up the uh, context so that links and things will work. Uh, and so then we return all the utilities that you get from render as well as history so we can make assertions off of that. Um, I don't think I actually used that in these examples, but um, it can be helpful to make sure that um, the browser was directed where it should go when you click on a button or something. One thing to know about React Router specifically is if you want to click on a link, you're going to fire an event. You need to uh, specifically check that button is zero or, or pass that button is zero on that event. So when we fire event click on the about link, then we have to specifically say that's a left click. So I think it's kind of interesting, but it uh, sort of makes sense. Um, so yeah, let's see. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So yeah, here's the uh, location display render with router, and we can render it with some route, and then it'll we expect that to be route. Um, so yeah, you can render anything, not just your full app. 
So let's say we wanted to test this location display without the router though, um, without uh, the, um, yeah, the router implementation, um, like without rendering it within our, our route. So I'm gonna copy this here. We'll actually duplicate this and stick it in. Oh, that's, that's a sad feature that I really miss from Adam. Okay, so we're gonna make a new one, um, mock. React router and I'll get rid of these tests and all this stuff and um the we're not gonna need this router thing or this and um yeah okay so from here let's say I wanted to render this and actually let's just get rid of the app we're not gonna render that we're not gonna render any of these things so we just have this location display. It's in another file or something. Um, pretend this is in another file. Okay. And we imported. Okay, cool. There, we'll make it look like code. We import location display from that. location here we'll do this too been liking named exports more recently okay so um let's say i want to write a test for this location this location well yeah it just displays location um okay so what i'm going to do is i'll say render location display and i'm going to get my um get by test ID and we'll expect get by test ID location display to be or, or to have text content. And um, let's see, I'm going to, if I want that assertion, I'm going to need to import test um, uh, extend expect and yeah i don't need this stuff uh actually I'm, i might need some of that stuff i uh yeah actually none of that okay so um how do i know what the uh, router location is going to be um let's let's actually pull up our test right now and we'll get these things running I'll just... whoa not that much okay so we'll run um test just run oh actually watch mode okay cool so it's totally busted and um yeah the reason is we're using route or with router outside of router so that's what we're doing here with router and it's not being rendered within a router okay so that is the problem we're trying to solve. So here's what we can do. Um, it, so in uh, Dan's case, he had React Router and he's mocking route. Um, for us, we're using with router. And so um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna say jest.mock with, or, or let's see, it's uh, React Router with router and uh, for us, that's gonna be given a component that we actually want to render. So we're going to just function, um, let's see. Yeah, and, and then we'll, we'll want to call that uh, subcomponent with the location. Um, and there are a couple ways that we could do this. Um, I'm thinking maybe the easiest would be to pass a location. Actually, let's comment this out and see what happens if I try to pass a location. Um, path name, and we'll give that path name um, route. Then we'll expect that to be the path name. Okay, so it's probably still going to be broken um, for the same reason. So now we can mock this thing and we'll accept uh, some whoa props. Uh, so it'll be. Let's see, yeah, children. 
and then props and let's we'll render the uh let's we'll do it's actually no it's not called with props it's called with a component and then we'll render that component um oh wait it returns a function that accepts uh props and we'll just spread the props there we go Ta -da! that works okay cool so that's that's the idea i mean it's uh this one's not as easy as route is a div um and actually i i am um that's probably fine um i might make it be a function that um, renders or that accepts props and it's a jest function so you can uh, make assertions on it uh, perhaps in our case we actually don't need it to be a jest function because uh, we, we don't need to make any assertions on it um, it is fine as it is um, but anyway hopefully that is um, helpful to you i'm trying to think if there's anything else i I'm, i think i'm just going to go ahead and commit this um, yeah so we'll add a um, add like act, and we'll just push that up, um, and you'll be able to see that in Code Sandbox, even though you won't be able to actually run that test because just mock doesn't work in Code Sandbox. But anyway, oh here we'll get rid of this thing. We'll also get um, add a note here. Um, your test should look like this below. If I put the after, well, yeah, after e, well, no, we can do this. Import React testing library, uh, uh, clean up after each. We'll put that up there too. And here that works. But yeah, anyway, that's uh, the general idea. If you want to unit test something with React Testing Library um, and you want to like cut off its um, dependencies, or in this case, the dependencies with router from uh, React Router, then it, you simply use jest.mock. And you, if you don't want to have to do this all over the place in your test, then you can use a mocks directory and you can learn more about that. I've actually got a blog post um uh, let's see what is javascript mock i'll put a link to this in the description as well because i think some people have found it to be so yeah anyway i'm gonna just i'll finish this up but you don't need to be here for that so i hope you have an awesome day and uh yeah we'll see you later